Hi students, I am Priyanka Jain and I am a verified educator at the Unacademy Plus platform. You can watch several of my plus classes. Okay, I have soon started a catalyst batch course for the whole inorganic chemistry. You will see all the inorganic chemistry in this course and this is for the upcoming June 2022 exam of the CSIR net as well as for the GET exam, okay? So if you want to see different of the my lectures, different courses, you can see on the Unacademy. Take the subscription of the Unacademy. And if you want to see the free classes, there are also several free classes. Every month I take several free classes. You can watch these free classes without taking subscription. So for this, you will have to uncode my code. My code is Priyanka Jain 10. By clicking on this code, you will get the link for my classes. Thank you. Hi students, welcome in chemistry classes. I am Priyanka Jain and you are watching the unit third of inorganic chemistry. Okay, so we are studying about the acid and bases and the non aqua solvents. Okay, so here we are with the new concept that is hard and soft acid and bases. This concept was given by Pearson. Okay, as we know, we have studied in the coordination chemistry that there is the formation of complex between the metal and the ligand okay metal and ligand forms the complexes okay in these complexes the lone pair of electrons are donated by the ligands to the metals right so here the metal is acting as the acid and the bases are the ligands okay it means ligands are acting as the base okay so the whole chemistry the whole stability of these complexes actually depends upon these strength of the acids and the bases. Okay, this whole thing depends upon which type of acids and bases are these. Actually, on the basis of this thing, Pearson, a scientist that was named Pearson, has classified the acid and bases in the terms of hard and soft acids and bases. Okay, it means the acids have been classified as hard acid and soft acids similarly the bases has been classified as hard acids hard bases and soft bases okay so first of all we understand what are the hard acids and soft acids then we will understand what are the hard bases and soft bases okay so see here acids are of two types one is called hard acids hard acids like lithium plus and be plus 2 al plus 3 cr plus 3 fe plus 3 these all are categorized as hard acids hard acids means the cations of smaller size when the cation has the smaller size okay and second thing and higher the charge it means a cation of the smaller size and higher charge, right? Second thing, these should be non-polarizable. It means it cannot be easily polarized. It means their electron density cannot be easily polarized. Next thing is that the molecules or the ions with lesser number of electrons. lesser number of valence electrons so whenever there is the lesser number of valence electrons they will have the tendency to accept the electron density okay so they will work as the hard acid now we see the soft acids soft acids like silver plus pd plus 2 pt plus 2 hg plus 2 these all act as the soft acids these are actually the cations of larger size or we can say these are of the heavier elements and cations that are having lower charge okay it means charge density should be low and the size should be high right then they should be easily polarizable and then the molecule or ions with large number of 
valence electrons. All right, now see the bases. The bases may also be classified as hard bases and soft bases. Hard bases like H2O, NH3, F minus, or ROH. These all are the example of hard bases. It means these are having actually the lone pair of electrons that can be donated. Okay, so due to this lone pair of electrons, these are acting as the bases. Now, why these are hard bases? Actually, whenever the donor atom, whenever the donor atom is of high electronegativity, then the bases will act as the hard bases for example here oxygen is present nitrogen is present and here fluorine is present these all are the donor atoms of high electronegativity so these all bases will act as the hard bases okay similarly the donor atoms should be of low polarizability it means it cannot be easily polarized okay so it should have low polarizability okay now see the soft bases soft bases like r3p triphenylphosphine or its derivatives r2s i minus scn minus thiocyanate so these all are the example of soft bases why because here the donor atoms are of low electronegativity okay these are of low electronegativity here the donor atom is phosphorus in this case sulfur here it is iodide and here this sulfur or nitrogen anyone can be the donor atom these all are of low electronegativity secondly it can be easily polarized okay these are easily polarizable so these are acting as the soft bases okay okay now see the HSAB principle, hard and soft acid and base principle. What is it? Actually, the Pearson give the one principle. What is this? Hard acids prefers to combine with hard bases. Similarly, soft acids. prefers to combine with soft bases okay hard acids are combining with the hard bases and soft acids are combining with the soft bases it means we can say that the hard and hard interaction hard acid and hard interaction hard base interaction this will give you the stable complex Similarly, soft acid and soft base combination. Will give the stable complex. Okay. In these cases, in these both cases, you are getting the stable complex. While if you are making a complex of hard acid with the soft base. Okay. Or if you are making a combination of soft acid with the hard base then in both these cases you are getting the unstable complex okay so basic theorem of the hard and soft acid and base principle is that the hard acid and hard bases are combining to form stable complexes similarly the soft acids and soft bases are combining to form the stable complexes one more thing here is said that hard and hard interaction whenever there is hard and hard interaction this is always ionic okay the hard and hard interaction is ionic similarly soft and soft interaction is covalent involving the pi bonding as well as okay so hard and hard interaction is ionic and soft and soft interaction is covalent okay now see the applications of the hsab principle there are several application of this one of this is the stability of the complexes complexes are if formed by the hard and hard interaction or by the soft and soft interactions then they will be more stable it means we can say hard and hard combination 
is forming the stable complex similarly soft and soft interaction is forming the stable complex so we can decide the stability of the complexes for example let's see one of the example if we are taking ag plus and 2i minus okay and this is forming ag i2 minus right now see here ag plus ag plus is soft acid and this iodide this is also a soft base okay so their interaction will be stable so the complex that we are getting will be stable okay but if we are combining ag plus with 2f minus fluoride ions then it is forming ag f2 minus now see here this is soft but this fluoride ion this is the hard base so a soft and hard interaction will give you the unstable complex okay so in this way you can find out the stability of the complexes similarly see one or one more case if we are taking cof6 minus 3 complex okay and if we are taking co i6 minus 3 complex out of these two which will will be more stable okay so see here cobalt cobalt in plus 3 oxidation state is a hard acid okay and here fluoride is again a hard base so this hard and hard interaction will give us stable complex so this will be stable this will be stable while here you can see this is hard acid but this is a soft base so these are forming the unstable complex okay so we can see that the stability of this complex is greater than this okay okay now the next application is the course of the reaction by hsab principle we can also find out the course of the reaction a reaction will always proceed from the direction of less stability to a direction of high stability right so for example if if you have given a reaction like lii plus csf it is reacting and it is forming lif plus csi now uh, now you have to decide whether the reaction will proceed or not so let's see here this is the hard acid and this is a soft base okay hard and soft interaction and this is a soft acid and this one is a hard base okay so these are again soft and hard interaction so these will be unstable while here you can see this is hard and hard so this is more stable similarly this is soft and soft so this is more stable it means the reaction is going from a direction of less stability to a direction of high stability okay so this reaction can occur it means we can see we can say that the reaction is feasible okay we can find out the course of the reaction similarly see another reaction if we are taking cui2 and treating it with the 2 cuf okay so we are forming cuf2 plus 2 cui right now see here this is a hard cu plus 2 okay you have given copper here in plus 2 oxidation state cu plus 2 will be hard while this is soft similarly here this is in plus 1 oxidation state so this is soft while the base is hard so these are again unstable while here you can see this is plus 2 it means this is hard and fluoride is again hard so hard hard combination will be stable similarly this is plus 1 oxidation state so it will be soft and soft soft interaction will be again stable so we can say that the reaction is feasible reaction can happen easily okay now, now the third important application of the hsab principle is the occurrence of the ores actually by this we can find out the occurrence of ores ores will occur in which type of combination actually we know that the hard acids hard acids are of higher charge and smaller size like mg+2 ca+2 al+3 so these all are hard acids and these occurs in the nature as mgco3 scaco3 or al2o3 it means these are forming the complexes with co3 minus carbonate ligand or why with oxide ligand both of these are hard bases okay so these are occurring in the nature as a combination of hard acid with hard bases okay similarly there are soft acids 
लाइक सी यू प्लस ए जी प्लस एच जी प्लस टू दीज ऑल अकर्स एज सल्फाइड्स यू हैव सीन देयर सल्फाइड्स दीज ऑल अकर्स एज सल्फाइड वाई बिकॉज सल्फाइड सल्फाइड इज ए सॉफ्ट बेस ओके सो देयर इंट्रेक्शन विल बी स्टेबल सो दे अकर्स एज द सॉफ्ट बेस वेयर इज देयर आर सम बॉर्डर लाइन एसिड्स बॉर्डर लाइन एसिड्स मीन्स दीज आर बिटवीन द सॉफ्ट एंड हार्ड एसिड्स लाइक एन आई प्लस टू सी यू प्लस टू एंड पी बी प्लस टू दीज ऑल अकर्स इन नेचर बोथ एज द कार्बोनेट एज वेल एज एज द सल्फाइड वाई बिकॉज दीज आर एक्टिंग बोथ एज द हार्ड एज वेल एज एज द सॉफ्ट एसिड्स दीज आर द बॉर्डर लाइन बिटवीन द हार्ड एंड सॉफ्ट एसिड्स विच इज ओके सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट द एच एस एवी प्रिंसिपल वाट आर हार्ड एसिड्स वाट आर सॉफ्ट एसिड्स वाट आर हार्ड बेसिस एंड वाट आर सॉफ्ट बेसिस मीट्स यू इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो विद सम मोर टॉपिक्स ओके वी हैव टू सी द नॉन एक्वा सॉल्वेंट्स मीट्स यू इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो विद सम मोर टॉपिक्स लाइक नॉन एक्वा सॉल्वेंट्स थैंक यू